إن ربكم الله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش I would like to, if you can give us some advice concerning how best we can prepare ourselves spiritually for this month. I don't know if I go back to, go to Sheikh Yusuf first. As to what kind of nasiya can you give us in regards to how we should be preparing ourselves for this month? Um, is that for me? Yes, yeah, Sheikh. So, um, yeah, sure. If you can give us some nasiya, because obviously we are all, um, how can you say, um, We've spent a whole year, you could say, chasing the dunya, stressed. We've discussed yeah. issues with family and marriage and work, and set, and now we have this beautiful month coming. We want to be ready for it, and we want to try and get the best we can out of this month. Yeah. Um, yeah, alhamdulillah. First of all, as believers, for example, when you have a guest or you're expecting a guest, you get your house prepared. Mm -hmm. And um, whatever provisions that you will um, be um, going to use to make sure you look after your guests until your guests leave. And that's that's also applied to Ramadan. Ramadan is, is just behind the corner now. They, mm -hmm. they used to prepare for Ramadan way ahead. SubhanAllah, mm -hmm. six mm -hmm. months or more mm -hmm. before Ramadan. After Ramadan as well, they, they continue to supplicate, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it. While some of us, mashallah, the day of Tarawih, that's when we, mashallah, jubilate. So Ramadan has come. I'm writing it now. Yes. Mm. Because the human nature, when we get used to things, and mm -hmm. it's difficult to get away with them. So um, one has to do Tawbah, sincere Tawbah, right now. Yes. Because you don't know. Um, the life is not in our hands. Some people, they were alive yesterday, and today they have gone. Subhanallah. Yeah. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. None of us know whether we see Ramadan or we say that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us in Sha'ban and then make us be amongst those who experience or see the month of Ramadan fast and their fasting being accepted. So it's Tawbah, sincere Tawbah. To turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah said, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ He said, O oh, you the believers, all of you turn to Allah in repentance. By doing so, you may become successful. So that's the first thing. Yeah. And then secondly, is to engage in ibadah, recitation of the Quran, giving sadaqah and fasting. It's very, very important. In Sha'ban, the Rasulullah used to fast most of it, alhamdulillah. And it's been reported, authentic hadith. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He said, Man soma yawman fi sabirillah, ba'id Allah wajahu minan nadi sab'ina kharifa. He who fasts for the sake of Allah, one day, just a single day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will distance his or her face from the hellfire a distance of 70 years. Subhanallah. So we have to continue to do fasting. And then in the night, you know, at least once every two or three nights, you stand in the night. Do ibadah. Engage yourself mm -hmm. with ibadah. So when Ramadan comes, mashallah, it becomes like a norm. It becomes, mm -hmm. you know, something which is, mashallah, is already into the system. And um, yes. also, this is the time we do to Salamah, you know, to pardon one another, to forgive. When you forgive, mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. Even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when people do tawbah in this month, another month as well, he said, I forgive everyone except those who have grudges against one another. So this is the time mm -hmm. we forgive. Because if you forgive, mashallah is one of the greatest qualities of a believer. Mm -hmm. one of, yeah, subhanallah, you know, a believer, a believer in his heart that is always, always that forgiveness towards his brothers and sisters. A man came to the Rasulullah mm -hmm. he said, Come mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. Ya Rasulullah, how long should I forgive my brother? You know, mm -hmm. and then he said, according to the hadith, 70 times a day at least. 70, not once, mm -hmm. 70. Mm -hmm. Imagine. So, how many excuses do you give for your, you know, for your brother or sister? In, mm -hmm. in a month, not even a day here, in a month mm -hmm. or year. Mm -hmm. So this is how it is. And forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, He said, mm -hmm. 
hasten towards the forgiveness from your Lord. The wheat of Al Jannah is as the skies above and the earth below. It's been prepared for those who are God conscious. And Allah explained the qualities of those people. He said, These are the people who spend their wealth for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of difficulties, likewise as well when they're happy, right? Or going through, mashallah, beautiful times, fortunes. Mm. So they spend for the sake of Allah. And these are the people who restrain their anger. And they pardon one another. Subhanallah. Allah loves those people who show kindness to, you know, especially to those who have oppressed them, those who have wronged them. You forgive. Mm. And finally, about forgiveness, there is a hadith that Rasulullah said, I will just tell you the meaning. He said that the day of judgment, two brothers or sisters, meaning they are Muslims, they will come before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one will say to Allah, Ya Allah, take my reward for my brother. He oppressed me or my sister. And then mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the oppressor and say, give him his reward. And he will mm. say, Ya Allah, I don't have anything left. Please. However, at the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the one who has been oppressed, he said, to him, forgive him. And he said, no, ya Allah, I want my reward. And the time when the Rasulullah was narrating this hadith, he cried during this, mm. you know, when he reached this point. Mm. And then later on, according to the Rasulullah sallam, Allah will disguise Al-Jannah, paradise, of, you know, of the sky. And then he will say to him, he said, look, just raise your gaze and then see what is up there. And when the, this oppressed one raises his gaze, he will see Al-Jannah. Beautiful. And then Allah will say to him, it's for sale. That Jannah is for sale for whoever has the price. And then he will say, oh Allah, who has the mm -hmm. price? Tell me, oh Allah, please. Allah will What's say to him, right? Your forgiveness mm -hmm. towards your brother is the price. Mm -hmm. And here is the man jubilating. Ya Allah, I have forgiven him. I have forgiven him. I have forgiven him. You see, mm -hmm. hold the hand of your brother, what whole agenda, both of you enter agenda. So this is how mm -hmm. it is. When you forgive, Ramadan is coming. Clean the hearts. Make the hearts free from all grudges, envy, whatever. Mm -hmm. And focus on your ibadah. And we pray that Allah accepts it. This is the few I will give, inshallah.